everyone, welcome back to another episode of Kids Workouts from Home. Uh, my name is Coach Anna and today we're going to be focusing on our core muscles. So a lot of our exercises today are going to happen on the ground. For today's session it's best to find somewhere with a nice comfortable ground, preferably a carpet if you have one. But if you want to do it outside on grass, like me, like what I'm doing today, that's also fine. So, does anybody know what I mean by core muscles? When I say core muscles, which muscles am I referring to? You might have heard people say abs before or abdominals. Basically, it's all your muscles in your tummy, your back, everything that goes towards the middle of your body. So why do we, why do we need to work our tummy muscles out? Why do we need to have strong abs? Basically, our abs help us to stabilize and to balance. By stabilize, I mean you're balanced, you can stand up nice and strong, you can support your posture. And if you don't have a strong, if you're not stabilized, if you don't have a strong core, you just flop over. You don't want that. So as always, we're gonna warm up first. The first one we're gonna do is just jogging on the spot. Start out nice and slowly, don't go too fast. We're going to kick each leg out, take turns for each leg, point our toes out, and then go back the other way with our arms. Okay, so now that we've done a few of those, time to get straight into the workout. First exercise we're going to do, you'll need to get down on the ground for it, and we're going to get into a V position. Okay? So. We have our knees bent, all on the ground, and this is called heel touches. So what we're going to do is take turns. My body's in a V position, and I'm just taking turns, touching my heels. Keep this up for a minute. Start out slow. You can get faster if you want. So just keep doing that for a minute, and see how many you can get done in one minute. So for the next exercise, we're going to stay in the same position. This time we're going to put our hands behind our back. This is called the bicycle crunch. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring our opposite knee to the opposite elbow. Alright, so we're just going to... Same thing, we're going to do this for a whole minute. Start out slow, you go fast, and you go slower if you get tired again. See how many you can do in a minute.
for the next exercise, we're going to do a plank. So for a plank, we're going to need to get down on our elbows. And we're going to need to get on our toes. As you can see, my back is nice and straight. I'm not letting my hips drop and I'm not going up too far either. So nice and straight. And we're just going to hold it like this. See if you can do it for a whole entire minute without letting your hips drop or without raising your butt too far up. If you have difficulty doing the plank position like this, if you get tired, you can use your knees. That's still good. Try, to, try, try your best to do it on your toes, but if you can't, knees are fine too. I can really feel my tummy muscles are burning right now. So this exercise is really good for your abs. It's also good for your back muscles. I'm gonna hold it for a little bit longer. I'm trying really hard not to let my hips drop right now. You can really feel my muscles burning. So I know the exercise is working. All right, and you keep doing that, see if you can do it for the rest of the minute. next exercise is called seated scissor kicks so by that we're gonna do the same V position as we were before I'm gonna have my arms beside me on the ground I'm gonna raise my legs and I'm gonna do scissor kicks like this sideways make sure that when you get tired you don't let your legs drop you gotta keep going you gotta stay strong you gotta keep your body in the V position I'm going to try and do this for a whole minute. If it gets too tiring, I'm going to go slower. Try to go for the whole minute. Right now I can feel here burning, so my leg muscles. I can feel my tummy muscles working. So I know it's giving me a nice, strong pull. Keep doing this for the rest of the minute. So our next exercise is called plank step ups. Now this one is this very similar to what we did before, just our normal straight planks. So I'm gonna get in my plank position, remember? Legs apart, back straight, my hips aren't dropping. So this one, we're gonna add step ups. So I'm gonna go up with one arm, up with the other arm, back down, back down. I'm gonna keep doing that for a minute. This is gonna help with my abs again. The reason why it's so important to have strong core muscles is because it can help us sit up straight at our desks in school, um, it can help us when we play sport, for example I play soccer so this will come in very handy, but any sport that you play core muscles is really important. So keep doing this for the rest of the minute. Okay, so this next exercise is called Russian twists. For this, we're going to do our V position again, like we did before. Keep our legs up high, and we're going to go side to side. I'm touching both hands, either side of my body. If you get really good at this, or if you want to challenge yourself, you can get a heavy object, a medicine ball if you have one, if you don't have a medicine ball, any other heavy object will do. 
and you can hold that as you do it. That's going to give you a harder workout. It's going to work out your abs even more. So we're going to keep doing this for a whole minute. So the next exercise is called cross crunches. For cross crunch crunches, we're going to get in our V-shaped position again, in our crunch position. And what we're going to do is we're going to do opposite hand to opposite knee. I'm going to, it's like I'm doing normal crunches, but I'm crunching the opposite knee. So, I don't know if that's you, but right now my abs are really burning and I can feel the pain. But that means that I know my muscles are building, I know my muscles are getting bigger. The pain just means that your muscles are feeling it and they're getting bigger and they're growing. So don't give up, keep going and stay strong. Good work everyone. So we only have one thing left and that's our warm down. For our warm down we're going to do a fun game called cats and birds. So if you want you can have a break now, go and get a quick drink and come back and then we'll play our cats and birds game. So the way that we play cats and birds is there's two positions. Okay, The first position is the cat position. So for the cat position I have both my knees on the ground, both my hands to the ground, and I'm looking like a cat. The second position is the bird position. The bird position is almost the same as the cat, but there's one slight difference. I'm going to bring my opposite leg to the opposite arm up, okay? And then I can alternate. So, what's happening in this game is that the cat trying to chase the bird. We're going to be the birds for most of this game. So in order to get away from the cat, we have to flap our wings. And the way we move, the birds in this game, they flap their wings by going opposite leg, opposite arm, like this. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, when I say the cat's close, the cat is really close to us, we're going to go really fast. We're going to try and go as fast as we can. When I say the cat's not looking, we're going to pause because we don't want to make any noise, otherwise we'll tell the cat where we are. Alright, so let's begin. So is everybody in position? We're all ready. Oh, I can hear the cat. Time to get moving. I'm doing my opposite arms and opposite legs. The cat's chasing us. Oh, better not stop. Oh no, it's really close. I better go really fast. I'm trying to go really fast so the cat doesn't get me. I think we've lost the cat. Let's hold. Don't move. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Try not to make any noise. Try not to move. Otherwise the cat will hear us. Oh no, it just hurt us again. Time to get moving. It spotted us. Woo. Oh, it's gone again. All right, pause. Don't make any noise. Hold nice and still. You don't want the cat to hear us again. Oh, it's creeping up on us again. Okay. I think we lost the cat. Alright, 
So that's the end of our workout session for today. Um, right now I can feel my the front tummy muscles are really burning, I can feel the side, and I can also feel my back. So it's really important to do these exercises maybe once or twice a week at least because it helps to hold us up, it helps us sit nice and straight and it really helps with our posture. So thank you for watching everyone today. Um, I hope you had fun. I know I had fun. And I know my core is a little bit stronger than it was before. Um, I'll see you again next week.